this topic is about imaginary numbers. It's a very interesting topic. Now, let's look over here. We can see negative sign inside the square root. Let's try using our calculator. Square root of minus 63. You're getting a math error. Say, for example, you take square root of anything, 0 0.001, you will get a math error. So anything having a negative number is a math error. Have you thought why? It's very simple. So what does square root exactly mean? Let me take a positive number, 25. You might have known the answer is plus or minus 5. Whenever there is square root, it will be plus or minus 5. Why is that? It's because square root means you're multiplying a number by itself and getting this particular answer. So over here, you're multiplying 5 with 5 or minus 5 with minus 5 and you're getting the answer 25. Now you will realize one thing, whether it is a positive or a negative number, when you multiply it, you will get the answer to be positive itself. It will be plus 25 over here and plus 25 even over here. Why? Because minus and minus becomes plus. So there is no possible way to get a minus over here. Square root means over here it's 2 or multiples of 2, even numbers over here will have positive. So now when you have minus over here, it's wrong. You know, this is a math error. So many centuries ago, not many few, I guess. So there was the same case. They used to never consider anything inside the square root to be true. They used to tell that's an error. But few of the uh, mathematicians were finding the same answer. They were getting something like negative 1. So then they came to know this must be something because all the work they had done was right. And then they ultimately, instead of, you know, considering them wrong, they just gave this number as I. This is an imaginary number. And that is true. This is not a real number. It's an imaginary number. So now, whenever you see a negative one, that is written as I. So in a quadratic uh, formula, imagine there is no solution. When you solve it in the calculator, you will get I. That is imaginary solutions. Now, we will quickly try solving these. They are very simple. All you need to do is remove the negative sign outside and then just solve the positive part, square root 48. The answer would be square root 48 and i. You can simplify this, however, part this is part 1 in MCQs, so you can use your calculator directly. All you do is square root 48 and that's the answer. And then don't forget i. 4 root 3 i this will become i so that would be your answer so now here it's written 4 i root 3 it's anyway it's the same thing you can try all of these now for example eighth problem don't think it's complicated it's very simple just don't add the negative sign multiply it with the root 3 and you will get the answer then now over here there are two i's you must be very careful minus 1 and minus 1. So basically it will become i multiplied by i. What does this mean? i times i is i to the power 2, right? But i to the power 2 is basically square root minus 1 the whole square. So the square root and root uh, power 2 cancels. So you're remaining with minus 1. Basically it's minus sign. So all you need to do over here in this case, the eighth problem, is add a minus sign. See, over here it will be minus because there will be two i's. Uh, because I can see some of these problems. Let me just uh, write a few things. i we know is square root 1. If you have i to the power 2, that means in this case we will get i into i. That is i power 2. Remember square root negative 1, square root negative 1. And over here, the square root cancels, you will remain only with minus 1. What about i to the power 3? The square root power 2 is minus 1. Again, you multiply i. So basically, it'll just become minus i. That's it. And now, what about i to the power 4? So i to the power 4 means you're multiplying minus 1 with minus 1 i to the power 2 multiplied by i to the power 2, it will become 1. So, it's very simple. Just square this 
Okay, you'll get this answer. Add one more i, you'll get this answer. Add one more i, basically it'll become negative one minus, uh, multiplied by minus sign, you'll get one. So this is the thing. And now if you go further on, say i to the power phi, just remember, i to the power phi is after i to the power 4. So i to the power phi is 4 plus 1. We know already i to the power 4 is 1. So what is i to the power 1 only? This is basically i and it is negative 1. So this is how the continuation goes on. So now imagine we have i to the power 11. Don't be confused. How much uh, how much part of this is divisible by 4? You should know the multiple of 4 over here. 4, 8, 8 is divisible and this is not divisible by 4. So you, you can write it in terms like this. 8 plus 3. You must write it in terms of a number which is divisible by 4 and the remaining number. The plus number must be less than 4. So imagine now there was 39. We know 36 is divisible by 4 plus 3. Okay, so that is how we do it. And now, all you need to do is discard this part. Just leave i to the power 3. Now, if you remember what is i to the power 3, that is the answer. It is minus i. That's it. So, this is how you can easily solve it up. Uh, try it by yourselves and then check the answers. Now, for example, even over here, don't be confused. You need to individually solve these. See, for example, 4i, leave it over here. What is minus 6 squared? It will be 36 multiplied by 36. And then you have i power 2. So i power 2. Now over here, i power 2 plus i power 1 will be i power 3. 4 times 36 will be, oh yeah, it's written um, 144. Now remember, i power 3 is basically minus i. So this is your answer. It's very simple. If you remember what is i power 1, 2, 3, 4, you can easily solve it up. Please try to solve it by yourselves and then check the answers. And uh, okay, there is one thing over here. This is also continuation up till 18 problem. Now these are again very simple. I'll tell you the easiest method to use. That's the calculator method. You can see they are all quadratic equations. So just press more, phi, and 3 is for quadratics. Type in the coefficients of x squared. Now, there is no x over here. So all you need to do is put 0 because over here there is no x. That means it's 0x. It's not there. So it's not written. Okay? Don't write 1. If there was one coefficient, then x alone must be there. But over here there is nothing. Therefore, it means it's 0. And then lastly, we have number 45. Now the answers are 3i and minus 3i. So similarly, you can solve the remainder. Just remember over here, you can, you can solve it in many ways. You can even uh, divide 9 both the sides and then simplify. But otherwise, you can use calculator. But if you're using calculator, get everything to one side. Minus 9x squared minus 9 equals 0 or you can use it as plus and plus it's fine now all you do is substitute over here minus 9 0 sorry i have not written all minus 9 0 and minus 9 the answer is i plus or minus i so this is the thing please solve the remaining and do check the answers